my daughter, who's 10 years old, looked at me and said, Mommy, what's a threesome? Thanks, Urban Decay. And once again, when I open it up, it says good things happen when you're naked. So I'm sure my dad's watching this video. So, hey dad. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I was always in school, or at least I, I felt like I was always in school. But now that I'm a mom and I have kids, they are never in school. And this week is no exception. They have the entire week off. It's half term break. So I apologize if you can hear chatter in the background. I have told them so many times they need to quiet down. And I have now at this point just completely given up my son's eight years old I mean really what do we expect it is what it is let's just get on with this review and today we are taking a look at two different urban decay products we have the urban decay stay naked threesome we'll get into the name a little bit later and this is an up to 14 hour wear bronzer highlighter and blush and we have the urban decay stay naked the fix this is their powder and they're calling it a powder foundation with a charcoal infused sponge Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Let's get right into this powder and that's because right now I only have my foundation on and today I am wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Longwear Foundation in shade Fair One. I have noticed lately I'm getting so many comments in all of my videos asking me which foundation I'm wearing in each video. I do also wanna point out I'm wearing the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and that's also in the lightest shade they have. So this powder is called The Fix. It says it's up to 16 hour wear powder foundation with a charcoal infused sponge. And the purpose of a charcoal sponge is to help to absorb excess oil or sebum that you may have on your skin. I of course did a comprehensive ingredients analysis and I wanted to point out a few different ingredients within this formula with you. I'm inclined to believe that this powder could potentially be great for my dry skin. I am 37 years old and I have a dry skin that's prone to fine lines and wrinkles. That was my son. I need to be very conscious of the different powders I put on my face because I don't want anything that's going to really absorb all of the moisture on my skin because it's going to leave me looking very old and my skin just looking very crepey. So the, what I really want to concentrate on this formula with you is all the emollients within the powder and there are quite a few. Emollients are going to help our skin feel very soft and supple and smooth and they're also going to help to reduce the friction between the powder itself and our skin on application. So when I was looking at the different emollients in this formula I noticed there are quite a few silicones and silicones I personally love they help to decrease trans epidermal water loss that means the moisture that's inside your skin is going to stay there because the silicones form this lattice like cross like structure on your skin and although oxygen and other nutrients can pass through water molecules cannot they're too big so it's going to retain that moisture in your skin this is great ingredients to have in your skincare and your cosmetics if you have dry skin like me. I also really like silicones because they are texture enhancers, so they're going to make the formulas feel more luxurious. They have a very silky smooth feel and they move with your skin. Have you ever used any cosmetics? And I'm sure you have where the cosmetics themselves just feel like the stiff mask on your face. A lot of these silicones, they kind of move with your skin as you're going about your day, you're talking, you're doing what you do. And that's going to help your skin just look like skin. You're not gonna look like you have this cake face. So for me, silicones are great ingredients and I'm really happy to see that there are so many within this powder. There's also glycerin. Glycerin is a super hydrator as well as a humectant. And humectants are water binding molecules, so they're going to sink into our skin, hold on to water, giving us a temporary plumped up effect. 
great ingredients to have if you have fine lines and wrinkles like me and you want them to be temporarily plumped up and who doesn't want to look more youthful there's also tocopherol in this formula tocopherol is vitamin e and that has very skin smoothing properties so with consistent use over time the vitamin e is really going to help to smooth out those fine lines you may have the last emollient I want to mention to you, and please take note of this one, is the Marigna Seed Extract. And Urban Decay has even gone as far as to put this ingredient on the front of their packaging. This ingredient is high in oleic acid, and oleic acid is comedogenic. That means that if you have blackheads, if you're prone to acne, to breakouts, this ingredient could potentially be very troublesome for you. If you have combination skin or even better dry skin like me, it won't be so much of an issue. We have other issues to deal with. There are a few other categories of ingredients in this powder. Of course, we have opacifying agents, which are going to make the product more opaque, less clear, less translucent, and don't forget that colorants are opacifying agents, and they're going to be the different shades within the range. Now, there is talc in this formula. Cosmetic grade talc is approved by the FDA, and I will link their statement on that in my description box down below. There's also synthetic fluoroflogopite. This is synthetic mica, as well as natural mica, and mica is a mineral with a lot of sparkle and shine. I'm happy to see these ingredients in here because these ingredients have light reflecting properties. When they're on your skin, they're going to reflect and diffuse light, and it's going to give your skin a blur like quality almost like a filter and that's a great thing to have if you do have any skin perfections especially those you guessed it fine lines and wrinkles we also have thickeners we have citric acid this is a buffer and it's going to help to regulate the ph of the formula and finally the preservative in this powder is ethyl hexoglycerin this is a very common cosmetics preservative now let's get on to trying out the powder and it does come in this really cute box i have to say i like the packaging it kind of has this nice little photo with some broken up powder on the sides now the name of this product is stay naked the fix and the naked palettes by urban decay are quite iconic and I have to say though the fix to me has a drug reference and that's just not something I want my daughter to see so I wasn't too crazy about the name on the back side there is a description that says this is a micro fine powder transform skin with seamless instant full coverage and when I open up the box it does say Good things happen when you're naked, which once again is kind of an interesting marketing. I mean, how many teenagers are buying this? I don't know, for me that's just a bit too much and maybe that's why I've kind of straight away from this brand over the years, but I do love the way the palette looks. Now, as I'm touching it, my fingerprints are getting all over it. So if you are someone that is conscious of that, please keep that in mind. The shade I'm using today is 30WY, and the open jar symbol has a 24M. That means once you start using this product, you have 24 months until it expires. I open up the palette by pushing this little button, and when I open it up, I see the powder. I can then lift up this little tab, which I have to say is a bit hard to do because I have nail extensions. Oh, okay, you can just apparently flip it. And here is the charcoal sponge. So it really is just a sponge. We'll try this out later on during the day and see if it does help to swipe up that excess sebum that I do get from time to time on the sides of my nose. So I'm going to use just this tiny little brush truly because I need to wash my brushes and I don't have many left that don't have any makeup on them right now. And I'm going to apply this all over my face. I'm going to use my big mirror here because that one is just way too small. So here is the powder now on the right side of my face. And I'm now going to apply it to the left side. Wow. I have to say, I am loving the way this is looking right now on my skin. 
Oh my gosh, this is really nice. I feel like my skin just has this nice coating of the powder, but it still looks like skin. I don't look like I have anything really on my face. It still allowed my skin to be quite dewy, which I like because I have such dry skin. I don't want my skin to look too, too matte, if that makes sense. So this is the powder on my skin. I am pretty happy with this so far. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I think as of right now, this is probably one of the nicest powders I've used, how it looks right after it's applied. Of course, we have to see what it's going to look like a few hours from now, especially if it's going to creep into the little fine lines underneath my eyes. But as of right now, I'm happy with what I see. Now, let's take a look at the next product. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Threesome. Let's talk about the name because my daughter was looking through all my products. I did receive these from the Sephora PR event I went to a few weeks back and she took this out and my daughter, who's 10 years old, looked at me and said, mommy, what's a threesome? Thanks, Urban Decay. So I personally would be so much happier if they could just have names that Maybe we're a little edgy, but not overtly sexual. And once again, when I open it up, it says good things happen when you're naked. So I'm sure my dad's watching this video. So, hey dad. Anyways, let's <laughs> move on and check out the ingredients in this formula. Now there are quite a few of the same ingredients in these powders as there were in the Fix Face Powder we just put on. And I'm not going to go over those again, but I do wanna point out that once again, it does have that Moringa Oleifera seed oil. So this is a comedogenic ingredient. So once again, if you have the blackheads, acne, prone to breakouts, you probably want to avoid this. There is also ethyl hexyl palmitate. This is another emollient, and this gives the formula a very silky feel. There's also laurel lysine in this formula, and this ingredient helps the powders to remain stable in very high heat. This is a great ingredient to have if you live in Dubai like me, where in the summer times, it can get up to well over 110, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So I appreciate that ingredient in the formula. I do also want to mention we have the silicones as well as two different absorbents. Now these ingredients are going to give the powders a bit of a mattifying effect to the skin and to help to absorb any excess oil that you might have on your skin so you don't look shiny and you still look very smooth and giving you that long wear effect that Urban Decay did note on the box because they said there is up to 14 hour wear with this product. We have silica. Silica is in these perfect little spheres. It works as a thickener and it's going to help the powders just to glide on very easily, seamlessly onto our skin. So overall, the ingredients look great to me. I did not see any red flags at all. And once again, this is a vegan formula. So keep that in mind if you do choose to use only vegan ingredients. The box itself is quite cute. It does look like a Neapolitan ice cream, which is the second thing my daughter noted after she mentioned the threesome thing. And it does say on the back that we have the bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. So when I open up the box inside, I see a palette that looks very similar to the Fix. So this was the powder I just put on. And now here we have the bronzer, highlighter, and blush. Once again, as I'm touching it, fingerprints everywhere. If you're someone who's very particular about that, this would probably be a nightmare for you. You would have to use gloves every time you used it. When I open it up inside, I can see the three different shades. And the bronzer and the highlighter both have a sparkly sheen to them. So typically I don't use bronzers with a sparkle, but we'll see how it fares for today. I'm going to start off by applying the bronzer to my skin and I'm going to use just this little tiny angled brush. This is a great bronzer brush and just swirl it into the formula. Now, as I am moving this brush around, the powders are shifting onto the highlighter. So this is definitely going to be a palette that's going to need a little bit of extra maintenance, a little extra TLC. 
And whenever I put on my bronzer, I think of my face as having a three. So I go, I make basically a three on my skin. And that kind of gives me that perfect warmth. And of course, I'll blend it in afterwards. So now we have the bronzer all over my face. Imagine if I went out like this, actually. There are people in Dubai that do, but I'm going to blend this in because I like my makeup to look natural. Ooh, I think this looks fantastic. I don't know if it's just the lighting today or what, but I am loving these products. So you can see that there is a bunch of bronzer now on top of my highlighter, so I have to give that a good blow to get it off. And now let's move on to the blush. The blush is very pink, and I like that. I like half pink blushes. And as I'm moving this one around, now the pink powder is going all over this poor highlighter in the middle. Okay, and just because I want to keep going, I'm going to blend this in just using the powder brush I just used. So here is the blush on my skin. It's quite pigmented, so a little bit is going to go a very long way with this shade. And <laughs> lastly, let's do the highlighter using my favorite highlighting brush in the world. This is the Anastasia brush. I say if you need a good highlighter brush, buy this one. I've had it forever and it's just incredible. So I'm just sweeping this right down the highlighter in the middle because I don't wanna pick up any of the blush or bronzer on this brush. All right, I have to say it is a little bit annoying to try to get the highlighter only onto this brush because there's not that much of it in the palette and there's just powder picking up everywhere. So I need to be mindful when I'm doing this. I can't just swirl it and go. But I think it looks beautiful on my skin and it's not one of those super blinding, almost those immature type of looking highlighters. This, this is a bit more sophisticated looking. I really like it. So here is my makeup using the Stay Naked Fix Powder and the Stay Naked Threesome Palette. And I am really liking how it's looking right now. So once again, I have another PR event to go to. This one is in the new Blue Waters portion of Dubai. It's in the Dubai Marina. So I'm gonna take you there with me. And my daughter's coming too because she doesn't have school and she loves to go to PR events. So we're going to check it out. I'll show you around Blue Waters and we'll see how the makeup is performing on my skin. And I will touch up the powder using that charcoal infused sponge and we'll see if it's hype or if there is something special to it. This morning when I woke up, I just instantly started thinking about Morocco. I went there almost two years ago with my mom and we stayed in Marrakesh for a week in the Medina, <laughs> which was a whole other story. Oh my gosh, if you've ever been to Marrakesh, you've probably been to the Medina. It's, it's like going back in time. It's back in history. The way some of the men dress, it's unbelievable. And it's, it's wild in there. I mean, there's, there's no rules really. <laughs> there's no regulations. There's just kids riding on motorbikes, flying through these walls. It's this old, old city. Anyways, my mom and I stayed there and, uh, she ended up booking us a place in the Medina. People don't usually stay in the Medina. They visit it for a day, <laughs> but we were there and we still talk about that trip. That trip stressed us out, but Marrakesh was beautiful. Anyways, when I was there, I bought some 
you know, jewelry and clothes and whatnot. And one of the things I got were these beautiful earrings. I just love these. So I'm gonna wear them today because I've just been thinking about Morocco and I'll probably leave my mom a note a little bit later and just <laughs> tell her I was thinking about the Medina. So I also bought, there's a store there called Max and Jan. It's really funky. And I bought this beautiful, uh, I don't know what you would call this, sort of a, it's not a kimono, it's it's sort of a shawl, but it's a jacket. So I'm gonna wear this today because I'm just feeling very Marrakesh inspired. And you know what? I'll show you what this looks like in full when I get down to blue waters because it's just impossible right now on this camera. But I just love this fabric. I love all the colors in it. And whenever I wear it, people just say to me, where did you get that from? It's so different. And that's why I like it. It's just different. And I'm feeling kind of funky today. So I'm going to just pair this with a pair of jeans and some white sneakers. And I'm going to take this out because this is a bit too much color. And my daughter told me she wants to wear it to the event. So fine it is hers i have to say let's get going let's go down to the blue waters i've only been there a few times since it's opened and i really love it and every time i go it's a bit different because they keep building and improving on it so we'll have to see what it looks like today here we go ready for the event yep. you ready yeah What do you think, Veronica? Okay. Yeah, does it look good? Yeah. And it seems like a lot of it still isn't up yet. There's a lot of empty spaces, but then there are at the same time some restaurants that are open. Oh, Nutella. Hello. Oh, thank you. So now we're getting closer to, we're going to the London Project today. I'm gonna check it out. And this is where we're going, the London Project. It's a restaurant, and this is the Ferrisville. I don't know if it's going to really be able to show the enormity of it on this video, but I'll try to get it from another angle. It is scary, scary big. Maybe you could see a couple guys up there walking, just to give you an idea of the scale of this. <laughs> this, what would you call this, Veronica? Wheel. This Ferris wheel. So B, how do you think my makeup is looking right now? Good. Yeah? Yeah. I think it looks pretty good too. I'm really impressed with this powder. And as we're walking up to it, you can see the skyline of the Dubai Marina. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Yeah, there's the beach. They Look, there's the tons big, of people at the beach today. It's not the big floaty thing. So here is the Dubai Marina. What do you think, Veronica? Cool, and that's the palm over there. I'll take you guys to it someday. There's a plane taking off. We got a lot going on, don't we? All right, and today we are going here. This is the London Project. Maybe I can show you the, ooh, that's high. It 
just looks fresh. It doesn't look heavy and it doesn't look cakey at all. I am really impressed with this powder. So we're gonna go party a little bit more together. She's tired today. And then eventually head home. Not sure. <laughs> and I wanted to quickly touch up my powder. I have the cutest store behind me. It's called Typo. And if Veronica does a good job right now holding the camera, I'm gonna take her inside and let her buy three little pens she wanted. So let me just touch up this powder. Although to be honest with you, I don't even know that I really need it because my skin is looking just great. And it hasn't settled into the fine lines at all underneath my eyes. So, so far, it's just working very, very well for my skin. All right, her arm's getting tired. Show everyone what you got. The Pachine Pentacase. Wow. I'm the Pachine Queen and Pentacase Queen. Like, I have 10,000 pencil cases in here. It's true, she has so many. She collects them like the way I collect lipsticks. Starting from year one, and I'm in grade five. It's like five a year. Woo. I just love got two pencil pieces. All right, should we head home now? Okay. All right, let's do it. Veronica and I just got home. It is so much later in the day. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us at the To Me Travel event at the London Project in Blue Waters, Dubai. That's such an up and coming area. It's so cool. I just love being down there. I love being by the water and just that gorgeous skyline of the Dubai Marina. There's just nothing like it. So I have to say, when I was there, I did run into a bunch of bloggers that I know. I told them I was making this YouTube video and testing out the new Urban Decay products and everyone was just raving about how it looked on my skin. Some people really noticed the powder and they said my skin just looked very soft and it looked very bright and young. And then other people were more focused on the highlighter because I mean, come on, this is Dubai. It's all about the highlighter in Dubai. But they said it had just a really nice sheen sparkle to it, but it wasn't over the top. I love both of these products. The only thing I can really fault, aside from the names, because I'm really not crazy about the names, is that on the threesome palette, yes, the powders are going to mix together. It is a little bit more on the high meat inside. With that being said, I feel like who cares? You can just deal with it. It's such a good product and it looks amazing on the skin. It wears wonderfully. I've had this makeup on now for about seven hours and I think it looks fantastic. I only touched up the Fix powder once and that was with you. My two favorite pressed powders are the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish as well as the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Powder. Those are two very popular ones and normally I like to use those. I do have a video comparing the two powders side by side to see which one is better but now I'm thinking that this one might be my new favorite. If you can go check that video out, please comment and let me know which one you think looks the best. I'd really love to know your opinion on it. Sometimes you just need that third party to give you a very objective opinion. And now that I was talking about Marrakesh this morning, I'm wearing my Morocco earrings. I was wearing my Morocco caftan. I have to say, all I can think about is Marrakesh, Morocco, and argan oil. Argan oil comes from Morocco and it's full of vitamin E and fatty acids. It is amazing for dry skin. And Josie Moran does have her own skincare line that's based on argan oil. I have reviewed a few of the products, so I suggest you check out the video on the Luminizer. You can use it a few different ways. And I will see you over there. In the meantime, I need to go and make some sauce for my kids. They are begging for it. I have this amazing healthy recipe that actually infuses carrots into it, but they don't know. Not that they mind carrots, they love carrots, but I just pack it full of vegetables and they rave about it. They beg me all the time. My son does not like vegetables. If you want that recipe, just send me a DM on Instagram and I'll link you to it. And right now I am heading out to my kitchen.